Hello, um, I'm Infulus. I'm going to be showing you how to change and add new codes on the cheat code editor for um, the awful Revolution 50S. Um, the first thing you have to do before you even start up your computer is make sure that the micro SD memory card that has all your games and your system file on it are um, plugged into the little reader that you got with your R4. Um, that's quite important, you'll see why in a little bit. Um, but today, normally I'd be using um, the disk to open the cheat code editor, but for today, for purpose of example, I'm going to be using it, that I, the one that I used on my desktop. So I'm just going to double click on that, and you're greeted by this page. Now you just hit File, Open Cheat Database, and this is seriously important. You have to go to your systems file on your R4 like memory card thing. If you don't, you have to get all like high tech about it and do your little copy and pasting of your codes and stuff. Not codes, of your user cheat area. If you don't know how to do that, you just hit the drop down. If this mine's like default, so I'm just gonna show you. If you don't know how to do it, you just go to removable disk, whatever it is. System and use your cheat right there and it's really much better if you do it from the system straight away otherwise you have to copy delete the one you already have and copy the new one anyway as you see you now have all the games that you have on the user cheat area like animal crossing custom robo arena etc etc the point is i'm just going to show you how to uh, edit them or add a new one so here we go. You click on the name or you can hit this. This will just bring down all the codes you have. Um, there's two here that I used Pokesov to do. If you want Pokesov one, just PM me and tell me what you want. <coughs> um, this one replaces the teams and this one changes loads of things. I'll just play around with it. Uh, these, these are all different ones, but this one's my favorite. This is what I'm going to show you to do today. This is Force an Egg with Ditto. This makes any Pokemon whatsoever in the daycare with Ditto have an egg. It will be the egg of whatever it is. Uh, Mewtwo, uh, Deoxys, anything in the um, daycare will have a will have an egg with Ditto. Um, this is how you do it. <coughs> you just copy all the code data, you hit control C and you copy all the data from wherever you're getting it from, super cheats, code junkies, whatever. You hit control C. You go to the name of the d the game and you hit code, add code. Now you have cheat name. As you know it's force egg with ditto. You can add a note like press L and R or something, but I, I, it doesn't need a note for this particular code. You hit Control V, and there's your code. This is quite important. You hit Update Code just here. This temporarily saves it to your R4's memory, so that you can add or delete more of the codes and stuff. So uh, if you, but since I already have it, I'm just going to hit Delete Selection because I already have a Force Egg with Data code right there. Um, yeah, I mean, you could get the code, the codes that I have from Code Junkies or Super Cheats, just, generally you could do a lot of, um, things just by searching them in Google or something. But now you just hit File, Save Cheat Database. It doesn't make a difference if they, it doesn't come up saying, like, oh, would you like to override or something, you just hit Save. And now you just close it like normal. And there you go. That's how you, uh, edit a code or add a code on Cheat Code Editor. Thanks for watching, I'm Infuous, stay tuned for more tutorials.